Howdy friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today we're prepping out a 52 million year old fish from Cameron, Wyoming. This fish came from my 2024 trip out of Fossil Lake Safari. It was by far my biggest fish that I found there, so please enjoy. And at some point during the video, I will show which tools I'm using and my little setup. And I, at the end of the video, we will reveal the fish. Let's get into it. is the setup that I have for my fossil preparation. So I just have this box here. I had a smaller box. I had to cannibalize because it was, well, it was too small, so I didn't make it bigger. I did keep the front plate, the top plate, and the little exhaust fan that goes to a bag behind it to help collect the dust. And then I got a Vivor microscope. I did not go with digital because I need to see the what I'm doing in real time. Digital, there is a, a very slight delay. And so I had to have real time. So I got this microscope. It's not sponsored. It's the very first thing that I bought from Vivor before. Uh, I was a little skeptical. I, I actually kind of like it. It's kind of nice. So I use this to kind of see up really, really close to what I'm doing. And like I'm 
I'm so close to what I'm what I'm looking at. Like <laughs> sometimes I'll be working and I think I, I got a long ways, and then I'll take my eyes off the microscope and I'm like, oh, I didn't get very far. But this helps with the fineness of details. And then of course we have all the lights here. We have lights. We have a little LED light there, and then a light over there. It shines everything up in here, which is pretty helpful. And then my other tools I use in here. We just have some paint brushes. There's a X-Acto blade, a pen vise, tweezers, and a dental pick over there. And then of course I have my little uh, air scribe, which is powered by my air compressor over there. And, oh, before, when I first started, started working on fossils, I would use a straw and a blower to the straw to, to kind of help remove all the dust out of my working area. Now I use a little air pump for like aquariums and it puts off just enough air where it's not too strong because sometimes you can blow away the, the scales and stuff if you blow on it and that's the perfect amount of little puffs of air to help um, clean off the surface of my work area of course then we have our glues i use instacure b72 the the thick star bond i use this for repairing um so if i have two plates of fossils i use this for repairing in uh, those together there is a way to do that without having the glue come up and over because you don't want that. At some point, I'll make a video on how to do that. Super thin CA adhesive. That is for uh, parts of the fossils that are just crumbling and you need to secure them like right away. Two things before we show the fish. The first thing being, I did not seal the fish yet with any B72 or CA adhesive. There are a few parts where I did have to seal it up a little bit because the, the, the bones were crumbling. So I had to make sure to kind of keep them together so they didn't kind of keep falling apart. The second thing is I want to show a fish from 2023 and compare it to 2024's project to show the evolution of my skills. So let me show you. Here's the fish from 2023. This one came out of American Fossil, and this was a more or less a practice piece here. And I used nothing but, I believe it was a Xacto blade and a pen vise. And so I did all this by hand. So that is 2023 of me just kind of practicing. I think this was probably one of the bigger fish. Even if they were partials, there are some of the bigger fish that like got out of the, uh, out of the quarries that year. So that is going to be 2023's example. And we're going to scoot this aside really quick. Put it right here. I'm going to grab the other fish. So I just split it up in this big rock here. And we have this right here. It's the biggest fish I've found now. This is still a little wet. Uh, yeah, having fun. Have a lot of fun. For sure. 
of that is our fish. I'll get some close-up shots too. And uh, I was half tempted to go through the, the little fish here to expose the tail, but uh, Theo Kellison, my friend Theo, uh, he used to leave it. So thank you, Theo. He said fish. <laughs> and we have here a little coprolite, which most likely belongs to this fish right here. I had to zoom in quite a ways for this, but you see the little teeth there? Look at the little teeth. It's got teeth. It's adorable. Go ahead and look at the little fish while we're zoomed in. And there's our little fish. Look at that. Just so we can have a good comparison, it's almost side by side, we have the 2023 Project Fish versus the 2024. Oh, they're so beautiful. Beautiful fossils. If you would love to have an opportunity to dig for your own fossilized fish, I will have a playlist of all the quarries that I went to, and that way you can schedule your fishing season in advance and uh, get your own fish. But that will do for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Rock on.